pray in America, Jesus Christ, I say another thing. I always pray that confident in God, the teaching our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, Brother Lewis, if y'all know, she's in Seattle, Washington, down the district, right? The son and granddaughter. And they sleep as well as we have a time. And uh, today we're going to give her for the word. She's going to hold about 18 minutes. Yeah, we're going to put it here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Just make you concentrate, though. Because you got to be slow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to tell you. I'm, I'm, for some of y'all, it'd be so frustrating to throw the bag on. That's what we don't want to happen. As you know, this, this month we're studying about leaders uh, setting the example for worship. Leaders setting the example for worship. So, in the days of last, last week we studied about Abraham. And this week we're going to study about, about Solomon. King Solomon. Solomon dedicates the temple. The devotion we're reading Psalms 34, 11, 3.2. Our scripture background to the first Kings 8 chapter 27 to the 53rd verse. And so after I read this we can verses 22 to 24, 37 to 39, and then 40 to 50. It's different around that there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it says, what prayer and supplication soever be made by any man or by all the thy people ill, which Shall know every man that played every other heart and spread forth his hands toward his house, this house. Then, then heard thou in heaven thy brother place. First Kings 8 chapter 38 through 39. What we get started? This, 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 this talks about the prayer. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the purpose of prayer? Communication with God. Communication with God. I will speaking to God. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, um, um, does prayer work, Steve? It, it, it's not that it works, because if it's not God's will, that's the key thing. We have to make sure that our prayer lines up with God. Okay, okay. okay. We don't know that, but we just pray okay. for what we what we need. Yeah, yeah. Strengthens us. Okay. Okay. Strengthens us. Okay. Mm -hmm. no. Yes, I wouldn't say it doesn't work. I would say it, but it's not that it works on God. It works on us. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Or I communicate with Him. You know, and the communication means a prayer two way street. Mm -hmm. I don't just talk. I gotta start listening. Mm -hmm. And so, and then I will learn to uh, adapt my prayers to be more alive. Okay. Okay. Well, we pray that. I will line up with God's will. That will be done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and what all y'all said is so true. Because, because uh, in the Garden of Gethsemane, mm -hmm. Jesus prayed. And he said, He said, Nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. And so we have to understand prayer is meant for you and I to see God know. God already knows what he's going to do. And God already knows what we're going to ask. But the problem is, we don't know what God will do, and, and until we ask Him, we won't never know. And so, and many people struggle with that. They struggle with it because they want God to change His mind. And God, God is saying, yesterday, today, and forever. Even in this, even in this text, when Solomon prayed, it is the way He put about His prayer that makes it so powerful. But look. Would you also say prayer draws us near to the okay. okay. communication? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. communication. Yes. Yeah. 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 Even though my deepest and darkest secrets might not line up to him, but still the fact that I revealed myself, that openness to him, 
Mm. Because he already knows. Yeah, he already knows, but I'm, yeah. but I'm making myself close right. to God. Right, you're, you're making yourself available to him. Yeah. And, that, and that's what we, see, we have to understand, until we get vulnerable. See, Christianity on this journey, it, 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 we're going to get heartbroken. Because we yeah. have to put ourselves in a vulnerable situation. And that's the problem. We don't want to put ourselves out there. We, we don't want to put ourselves out there to get hurt. Yeah. A politician, a prime example of that. Politician. Uh, got some skeletons in the closet. Yep. But but, but and they're gonna put a very d- dirty skeleton on that person. Mm-hmm. But 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 and, and for Christian, that's how it is for us. Satan's gonna try to throw everything he can to 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 to, to make us look bad, to, to keep people from wanting to worship with us. But we got to continue to press on. Let us begin reading, let's begin reading this. Uh, uh, we got a question? Did he do less aim? We ain't got that part of it. Are we doing this before we read? Okay. Alright. Amen. 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 And look at what I took and walk toward thee with all their heart. Yeah. Who has kept with thy servant David, my father, and thou promisest him. Thou spake also with my mouth, with thy mouth, and hast fulfilled it with thy hand, as it is this day. Verse 7. And then there be in the man of fame, and then the fellows of God's and mildew, both of their. The enemy seeks them in the name of their sin, whosoever faith, whosoever sickness be there. 38. What prayer and supplication so ever be made by any man or by all the people of Israel, we shall know every man the faith of his own heart and spread forth his hands towards his house. 39. Then hear thou in heaven thy dwelling place. Forgive and do, and give to every man according to his way, whose heart thou knowest. For thou, for thou, even thou only knowest the heart of all the children of men. They said, they said, they said, for there is no man who does not know God. And now he angry with them, and delivered them to men, so that they carry them away captives to the land of the far from here. 48, and so return unto thee with all their heart, with all their soul, in the land of their enemies, which led them away captive, and pray unto thee toward their land, which thou gavest unto the fathers, the city which thou hast chosen, and the house which I have built for thy name. 49, and hear thou your prayer and your supplication in heaven. That will do in place and maintain their cause. And forgive thy people that have sinned. We're going to use that last for sure. So the lesson I was going to go. Some of our Solomon's prayer. We need, to, we need to talk about his prayer. Mm-hmm. Analyze the structure and movement of Solomon's prayer at the temple of dedication. And then it goes on and says, write a prayer to dedicate the congregation meeting place to the Lord. So, uh, I'm going to read the lesson context, the ceremony. All right, the ceremony in 1 King 8, Kings 8, consecrated the newly built temple in Jerusalem. Temple construction had begun in 19, I mean, I'm sorry, 966 BC and required seven years of completion. First Kings 6, 1, 38. That completion in 959 BC, I'm sorry, marked an important transition in Israelite history. At the location of the encounter with the Holy God became immovable, with the temple replacing the portable tabernacle. The first half of Solomon's 40 years reign was focused on building the temple and palace, 
19. Today's lesson, the first thing, eight considers a portion of the dedication prayer at the ceremony of the finished mm -hmm. temple over which King Solomon presided. Several preparatory elements led up to this prayer. The temple had been completely furnished. First King 7, 13, 51, the Ark of the Covenant had been brought into the temple. 8, 1 through 9, the king had blessed all the congregation of Israel. 8, 14, the prayer of dedication that followed. 8, 23, 53, and the second longest prayer in the Bible, in the neighborhood of 1,000 words, the, the parallels in Second Chronicles. 6, 14 to 42 is of similar length. Only the prayer in Nehemiah 9, 5 to 38 is longer. But the prayer outsized length doesn't mean that King Solomon merely rambled on and on. Compare Matthew 6, 7. Quite the opposite. The prayer is clearly organized. We see that organization in 9, of the prayers, 31 verses, selected for today's study. So, so uh, uh, Solomon's prayer was structured, and, I, and this is this is why I'm so important about the model prayer. The model prayer is given a structure on how to align everything up. You know, it just shouldn't be a rambling. It, it, it's a recipe. It, uh, it, we are going to use the recipe, it gives you structural home on what to add and when to add and how much to add. It just gives us structure. Now some people have that structure right there in their mind. Uh, but some people have to go by a piece of paper. Either way it's okay. But you gotta have some kind of you gotta have some kind of thought process on one time. Same way in prayer. You just can't get up in a ramble. It ain't just a rambling conversation. It, it, it's a bit some structure to it. And, and, I, and Solomon showed her the structure that he had. So it's a good Yes. Um, as I, uh, my relationship, as I got older and matured more, my relationship with Christ got better. You know, I got better with my relationship. Yes. So my prayer, you know, started having more purpose. And so at the beginning, if you didn't have, like you said, a, a organized structure. I, the, I can't hear him communicating with me when I'm talking to him. So it's easy for you to get off track. Easy for him to sway and mumble and ramble and and and, and the structure. So anybody want to listen to you talking with no purpose? You know you don't want to listen to someone talking to you with no purpose. So God don't want to listen to you talk to him with no purpose. So you know and then when I really start following the model prayer and put, you know, my content in there. It gave me the structure that I need to actually speak with him with some purpose. Yeah. It's same with the sermon. You know, uh, you, you just don't want to get up and ramble. You know, you just don't want to preach up and ramble. You know, you want to be able to, to, to uh, he had to be able to paint a picture. Let's see, see what he's what he's God's trying to say to me. And I say when I press, because I pray, uh, when it lines with God, it's, it, 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 even when it don't line with God, it, it's okay when God says no, y'all. It's okay when God says you know, that, that That's what we got to pray to. God answers our prayer. He's gonna answer, he's a prime answer God, but don't get mad when you don't answer in your way. Yeah. You know, that's it. Amen. You got to change that. You got to recognize too that that's what. You, change your name. you cannot go to God and you can't change it. That's right. It's like it's like a you child to the September talking to their parent. To bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not your bro. Yeah. Hey, you, you're supposed to honor your parent. Yeah. You're supposed to honor that is that's where uh, Abraham honored the Yeah. And the was higher than Abraham. So when we when we acknowledge that God is and then when we go to him, we have to, he says fear. But fear here is not that you're afraid that he's going to crush you. 
Yeah. Fear is reverence, yeah. respect. Yeah. That's the fear that the Bible was talking about when he said, Fear the Lord. You give him respect when you go to him for anything that you have to say to him. You can't do. When, when uh, Moses walked on, on, on the Holy Mount, he said, Take off your shoes, you are know, you in my presence. Yeah. You can't yeah. come to me and get with that dirt on your feet. <laughs> Take off your shoes, you are holy ground. So when we pray to him, we got to know, first of all, that he's able. Whether he does it or not, yeah. doesn't matter. We know that he's able. That's why we go to him. Because we know he's able to do it. And if he doesn't do it, we can't just get so upset because that is preparation. When you don't get what you want, that's an experience. Now that's a testimony. Now you prepare for it. Because again, you know how to deal with it. So we have to use our the things that we don't get in life as something that builds us up. It doesn't break us down, it actually builds us up. Because when we see it again, we'll know how to deal with it. We can broadcast it. That's right. Okay. And I was So in this text, in this text, verses 23 and 24, it says he talks about the impassion for it. So so Solomon held two positions. What was that your position? The king and the temple builder. And Solomon's prayer. Oh, he had yeah, yeah. two positions. He still from the Oh, oh, oh there he is. Now we talking about man. Yeah. 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 Thank well, you. well that, that's the position he still was possible. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, by the way, if you want to, I got buzzed said, I said the wrong word. But when he still, so for his first position, he standing in posture prayer. And, 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 it's not, and that's why I try to tell you, it's nothing wrong with standing when we pray. Uh, uh, you know, a lot of people talk about tradition now. Because we grew up in the deepest kneel down. Amen. And, and so, and so. Amen. But, 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 but now I'm going to say this. Even as all the diggers that kneel down, man, no. some of them, we still had some to stand. Yeah. We had, but it don't matter. And, you know, and we get caught in, in tradition. That, 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 we got to kneel down. But the pastor ain't never been, you know, he still at the voting uh, 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 and, and, and pray at the altar call. It, 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 but, but it's just so the position here. Is the fact that what does he do when he stood it though? He lifted up. He, 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 he opened himself up. You know, he was you know he was letting God know that that that, that it's all about you and not about me. And so and his prayer was was very passionate about because he was so he wanted to dedicate the temple. Now where was he at? Now this is what you want to talk about. Where was he at when this was going on? He was outside the temple. Why was that? Because everybody gonna fit in there. It feels God's spirit. Yeah. yeah. Well, he, was he was dedicated, dedicated to the afternoon song or not. Now, now y'all go back to the go back to our Leviticus study on Tuesday. He was not what? Levi. Right. There he was not a priest. Oh, okay. He, 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 he was not a priest. So he, he didn't have the authority yeah, to go into the temple and the whole, yeah. and, and do this. Yeah. That was not his job. He had to stay outside her. Because he's the king. Yeah. He 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 he's wow. from the tribe of what? Judah. Judah. That's exactly wow. right. Wow. You know, let let let's stay with the you know in the line. And see, and what y'all want to do now? What y'all did is a prime example. Of what most people do, and, and, and they don't connect the dots with the Bible. And so so what you said is true, but it's not right in that context. You know, and and that's how we get mislabeled. It's little stuff like that. Uh, prime example. Prime example. People said that they even at God and Savior. Jesus. Jesus is the Savior. Well, yes. But 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 so but when you said God, I trust God. Yeah. He's my Savior. Uh, uh that really that really is, is, is not for, for, for a true Bible, that's really not true. Even though Jesus is God. Uh -huh. But but God sent Jesus. That's right. And, th and that's what we had to understand. And that's what we had to become, you know, and don't get me wrong. 
When you listen to some of these songs, these songs about making money. They, they ain't worried about trying to make sure you just write them back for the God, man. They about making money. But 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 it's little stuff like that that throws people off because that's what people remember. And that's what they'll go out and say. And so so you you're really misrepresenting the word of God when you double say And that's why I want to make sure we understood. Solomon couldn't go on, he, he, he did not have authority to go into the holier place. He was not a high priest, he was not even a priest. But what did he do? He, he spread out his hands toward heaven. Mm -hmm. And this was the most common posture of prayer in the Old Testament. Listen now, this was the most common posture of prayer because they stood. Many modern people close their eyes, bow their head, and fold their hands as they pray. But the Old Testament tradition was to spread out their hands toward heaven in a, ge in a gesture of surrender, openness, and ready to receive God's blessing. Mm -hmm. now, and that's, that's, what, that, that was the, that's the reason why he done that. And, and it is one of the re remark concerning this prayer that is full and comprehensive and was meant to be the sum of future prayer offered in the temple. There is no God in heaven above and on earth below, like you. Solomon recognized that God was completely unique. The pretended gods of the other nation could not compare to him anyway. And, and, and so what these first two three verses show us, it shows us his posture. Now, not only did he stood, but then he kneeled down. Why did he kneel down? It says, he says, and by the time Solomon concludes the prayer, he would have switched from standing to kneeling. The, the change will explain more. So somebody go to 7 Chronicles 6 chapter, verses 12 and 13. Sister Dorothy, you have a book? Yes. Yeah, okay, okay, I do want to make sure. Okay. 13? Yeah, six, 7 Chronicles 6 chapter, verses 12 and 13. 12 13. Uh, he stood before the altar of the Lord. <laughs> Come on, brother love. Go ahead. In the presence of all the congregation of Israel, and spread forth his hands. For Solomon had made a brazen scaffold of five cubits long and five cubits broad and three cubits high, and it set in the midst of it set it in the midst of the court. And upon it he stood and kneeled down upon his knees before the, all the congregation of Israel and spread forth his hands toward heaven. That's what he said. So, 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 not only did he stand, hmm. but then he kneeled to show humble, you know, to show humility to humble. Mm -hmm. he's the king. Now, 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 who was he praying for? He just wasn't praying for himself, Everybody. but he praying for his ill. And so he wanted the ill to so now, now uh, it's about the reception part of it. Our king is bound down. Yeah. So, so if our king bow down, then, then we gotta bow down. Yeah. You know, so so and that's why this remember what the lesson is trying to get across here. Leaders set example mm -hmm. in worship. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what we gotta that's what we gotta get across. Here. As leaders, we gotta be the leaders in, in, in the worship hour. You know, uh so so uh the deacon start off with devotion, you know, you start off right, you lean right. Uh uh uh, the choir, you know, the choir got you know, you, you got people, everybody singing the choir, but then you got some, you got some voices in the choir that lead, you know, and so those got those examples got to take take effect. If, if, if like Sister Tim, she, she, she's a chief leader in the shadow area. You know, we know that, we we know that, you know, that's, you know, but, but, but and that's fine, but but she ain't got no problem with that. Yeah. You, you, you know, but but my the, the concern here. Is that when you when you post one of the leaders and you don't do your job? Yeah, you don't lead in that area. That's you know, go ahead, what you want to say, Okay, okay. okay. But, but, but that, 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 that's our issue right there. But Solomon was setting an example on how to lead in the worship area. You know, he took he took the lead right here, and so but 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 not only did he take the lead, it showed in verses twenty three and twenty four. It talks about God. There's nothing like it. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing like it. And, 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 and you, you, you know, it's no need to try to compare God to somebody else because they did not make the heavens and the earth. Uh, uh, 
Where did they come from? They came from man. God came from, from stepped out on nothing and made something. Oh, yeah. So, so, it's those, so there's no need to try to compare God to, 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 to false God. There's no need to. But that's why that's what Solomon said. There's none like it. But somebody go to Psalm, go to Matthew 6, chapter 6. Oh, we ain't really got to. It's right there. Uh -huh. right. This is what I'm yeah. now, now, look, look, look at Jesus, how he started. Uh -huh. He said, Our Father, uh -huh. which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as this. Before he even gets started on anything else, he, 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 he lets God know who he is. All right, and, and it's about him yeah. and his plan. And it's not about us and our plan. We often, you think about your prayers now. Yeah. Well, that's what the next one goes to do at the end. Uh, we often, we want to go and tell them, ask, we, we can start asking God no. before we start thanking God. That's right. We, 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 we start asking God before we ask for God for forgiveness. You know, but, but, but here in this mono prayer, Jesus shows us how the grind. Yeah. He shows us how we ought to do things. Yeah. Put yourself last. You yeah. mean, I, I, don't, I don't care what you put yourself last. Yeah. You know, don't, don't don't be so quick to 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 God know what you mean, mm. but, but but still but but, but still decent or God is not a, God is not a God of confusion. You know, he 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 he, he, he structured, and and this is why people have problems in the Garden of Gethsemane, in the Garden of Eden. In the garden of Eve, because even though Adam was right beside Eve, God did not give Eve the command. Mm -hmm. God gave it to Adam. Yeah. Adam should have slept that. This is one. Now y'all move that with me. 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 Y'all move he just left it out of her hand. He just left it out of her hand, man. Yes, sir. Not having enough faith, but out of her hand. Yes, sir. But, 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 go ahead. Also, we have, and Solomon gives an example here <laughs> that he was accountable to a higher being. Yeah. Although he was the king, he was accountable to something higher than he, than he was. Uh -huh. And uh, it's in Hebrew where God, when he made a promise, like to Abraham and the Moses, he swore by himself because there was none higher. He said, I swear by myself okay. that the things that I promised to you, I will do. That's right. okay. Because there was nothing higher than him. Yeah. You know, so we got to, when we go to him, we got to do it in a way that is recognizing that who he is yeah. Yeah. and what he is. He is the creator. Yeah. You know, you can't, a child doesn't tell the parent what to do. That's right. This is true. A, a, a mm -hmm. child is completely everything that a child needs. He's dependent upon that parent. When, when that baby comes out, that baby can't do nothing for itself. Nothing. He can't eat. He can't drink. He can't do anything for himself. He's dependent on the one who brought him. And God is the one who brought us. So we didn't create no trees. We know how to plant the seed and bring them forth again, but we didn't create them. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's you know, right. He created all that we need. Oh, in yes. Life. Yes. And you know what? And when you say that, and this is this is the problem uh, with, with our bodies now, because we have, we, we don't know what we eat nowadays. Yeah. yeah. You know, we've gotten so far away from the farm life. Mm -hmm. it, you know, they said, well, somebody's still going, but y'all think about it now. I, I, I drive up and down. Pembroke Road, I can all those back roads where the farm is. And they spray some of everything. Yeah, right? yeah. 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 And, and, and we eat that stuff. Yeah. And, and, and I, I have never seen chickens come out so big. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know. Turkey <laughs> leaves. Let me take this off for a second. Me and my son were at Bojangles. Me and my son was at Bojangles one time. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, uh, they had some, they had some of the biggest breaks up, bro. I believe it. And the woman up, bro, who we waiting on, she was blessed too, though. She was blessed. <laughs> and so, 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 my son said, I ain't never seen no big breaks like
We've gotten away from the, the, the fundamental idea what God has. You, you know, it wasn't been wrong with, 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 with the way God's planted and everything. But now we've gotten away and and we don't call on them to set that. But what Deacon Johnson really was getting at, somewhat on page 20, verse 24, and read that little section right there. The promise. We are kept with our servant. Right there on the top, right here. Right there, yeah, we know that. Yeah. Who hath kept with thy servant David, my father, that thou hast promised him? Thou speakest also with thy mouth, and hast filled it with thy hand, as it is this day. The promise of David that his offspring will build the temple of 2 Samuel 7 13 now fulfilled the evidence of God's faithfulness. The vision is of the destruction of kinship and even that of the temple did not cancel God's plan for Israel. Rather, God used those events to symbolize his presence as they pointed to greater eternal reality regarding spiritual and heavenly kinship and, and temple. God may carry out his promises in various ways, but the promise always remains just that. Mm -hmm. so, so remember now. Yeah. yeah. He turned it off. Yeah. Back on now. <laughs> so, so in, in that, remember that this is a prayer. This, this is Solomon's prayer. And he said, he did not keep what you promised your servant David. Mm -hmm. Solomon. God knew what he was going to do. See, this is what we got to understand. Now, these are God's words, too, man. Mm -hmm. You know, this, this is God, you know. So, 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 this is God talking to Solomon. Using Solomon to pray. Mm -hmm. Solomon called on God to keep the promise that he made. We got to remember. It ain't like God don't know. It, but he wants us to remind him. Yeah. In other words, he wants us to let him know that we know what he promised us. Mm -hmm. that's, what it's, that's, what, that's what it's about right there. Many, we, we don't receive many of the blessings that God has for us because we don't know them. Many of the promises of God, we don't say nothing about because we don't know. The secret, the great secret to power in prayer is to take God's promise to heart and faith, to believe. God, you said that my son, my younger son, this is what, what they, the other two the older kids wouldn't do it, but he, if I said it, he, he, and daddy, where we, where we going right now? Man? You said we were going, he'll hold me to the fire. All right. And, 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 and even I said this about Prefro Dog. When he when he came out with that boast that God owed him mm -hmm. a blessing. I might not have said it that way, but 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 what when we read when you read that book of his and really listen to him, what he always said is, God, you promised me. Mm -hmm. I I would have never said, God, you owe me this. Mm -hmm. But but I, I do say, God, you, you said it. You promised you you do this. So 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 and that's all God wants us to do. It, it, it's to let him know that we read in the book. Yeah, yeah. You, you said in the word. And you and you and you a God that came out loud. So you you said it. And so her her her, her, her um Solomon was saying, now you 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 promised uh you promised uh my father David. Yeah. That 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 that, that his son would build a temple. Well, like, who I am, not you know. So, so uh, just keep your word, and that's all. That's all. And many times, well, in us, we got to remind. We, we got to remind each other. You know, don't worry about it. God said He got it. Mm -hmm. To believe that. Oh, go ahead. Uh, also, uh, in in Isaiah, God God told him. He said, "Put me in remembrance. Let us plead together." Declare thou that thou must be justified. God wants, like he just said, he wants to see if we are listening. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's like like a teacher in a classroom with, yeah. with his class. Yeah. The teacher writes out the assignments and, and the questions. And then somebody might be sitting there with his head down, like he might be falling asleep. Did he call on that? Yeah. To see, are you paying attention? <laughs> Were you paying attention uh, when I made this promise to you? Uh, uh, uh. 
Say it back to him. Yeah. Repeat it back to him. Yeah. And that's what he wants us to be able to do. It's not, it's not that he, he expects us to be make a hundred, but just to know the, the answer to that question. Yeah. Do you know that I made a promise to you? Even though you're going through all this stuff, wow, it, it seems like I ain't, I ain't around. Mm -hmm. Bad stuff is happening around you. But you know I made a promise to you for eternity. Yeah. Do you realize that? Yeah. And that's where we we need to consider. That's right. But sometimes we get lost up in where we at mm -hmm. and not where we're going. That's Ooh. right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So, you know, our Bible study, the ability to you know, teach to your children, right. your grandchildren, children, mm -hmm. so they would know yeah. right. who brought out the Egypt and everything. Right. So, so, so um, in mind, we have formula. Even in some cases, right, we have formula. Mm -hmm. If you remember the, the, the foundation of the form, mm -hmm. then you can make it work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and, and, and that's what Dickens Johnson was saying. Mm -hmm. oh, you don't have to remember the whole thing. Yeah. We won't never remember the whole book. Yeah. yeah. But, but, but if you remember the foundation of, of, of the promise, though, then, then, then you, you, you can make it do. And, and so when we, go, when we get to the second section about oppressing circumstances, uh, there are going to be some circumstances that's going to impress us. Yes. But we got to go back to the foundation, to the root. Oh, yes. uh, uh, but, but, uh, don't hit me. Don't read that uh, set, second proposition. Don't read it all. Just read that first part. That's all, you know. Verse 37 yes. Yes, and 38. Okay. If there be any in the land, famine, if there be pestilence, blasting, building, locusts, or if there be caterpillars, if their enemies besiege them in the land of their cities, whatsoever plague, whatsoever sickness there be, the old church offer them sore rise and calamity that may befall God's people in turn of sword, famine, and pestilence. Example of 1 Chronicles 21, 11, and 12, Jeremiah 14, and 12. These, these three general categories speak to oppression and or fatalities caused by human adversity. Meager harvest, disease, respectfully, Blessing, blight, mildew, locusts, the capital resulted in famine as crop are destroyed. Compare Psalms 78, 26, Amos 4 and 9, Joel 1 and 4. These predictions of calamity come from the greatly expanded listing in Deuteronomy 28, 15 to 68. What prayer and supplication soever be made by any man or by all the people of Israel? Some ask God to reply to any prayer offered by those either in the the temple or mouthful of it. You may notice that the word or a line in your edition of the King James Version that know that the King James Version indicates that there is no word in the text of the Hebrew language being translated. Thus the word or is a translator that's judgment for smooth reading. On the other hand, the ancient Greek translation amidst the phrase by all the people of Israel. The prayer does envision Gentile praying, beginning in 1 Kings 8 41. But here the focus remains on Israelites as those specifically subject to the curse falling of violation of the covenant again, see Deuteronomy 28. So, so, so here, here in this section right quick, uh, here are times of plague and famine. Mm -hmm. Drought was a constant threat for the agriculture-based economy of Israel. If there was no rain, there was no food. Mm -hmm. And many times we, and so Solomon doesn't take it for granted that God will forgive and hear his repentant people. God's response to our repentance comes from his grace and not from justice. And so, so we gotta understand it's only by God's grace. Mm -hmm. even, even, we've had, you know, you about this last, last month and a half, mm -hmm. We've had very little rain here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Grass is already turning, you know, uh, it just don't need no cutting no grass no more right now. Mm -hmm. but, but that, you know, so this thing was doing to the farmers. Mm -hmm. Solomon recognized that some plagues are easily seen, but other plagues come from our own heart. Many are cursed by plagues that no one else can see, but lives in their own heart. Solomon asked God to answer such a plague straight man when he humble pleased at the temple. Think about what we said here. Some senior, it is publicly known. 
And some sin is probably known. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter. It's that sin is what eats at us. And until we ask God to forgive us, then it, it, it can't be removed. It don't matter if it's public or, or private. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that, that same way. We, we can see the we can see the plays that come to, in, on, on Egypt. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they was visible. But then there are some plays that God touches the independent the, the individual with. And we might not see that. We saw the man when she was touched with, 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 with uh, leprosy. Mm -hmm. but, 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 but we didn't see what it did to Moses on the inside. You know, we see you know, we can see some result. Moses got so mad at the people, you know. So 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 but but, but that's what that means by that. And we got to have enough understanding that, that, that God still heard and that's our prayer. Yeah. A great many men think that they know the the, the play of other people's heart. And they don't even know the play of their own heart. <laughs> and, and, but we're so quick to, to, to point fingers. But, but, but we, we don't want to address our own issue. Mm -hmm. Any questions, comments? Yeah. I, I just want to make it's so important for us to do our research when we are appointing and electing leaders. Yes, yes, that's yes, right. Yes. Because the leaders will get the people in trouble. Mm -hmm. Just like when Moses did what he did, was this disobedient, he struck the rock. Mm -hmm. Everybody didn't strike the rock. Mm. All those other people that was Moses' age and a little bit younger, they didn't strike the rock. But they weren't allowed to go into the promised land either. Only a certain age was allowed to go into the promised land. It was that generation that, you know, well, God picked Moses. But I'm saying nowadays, when we elect, we, we need to not expect everybody to have it 100% right because nobody will. Right, right. You know, but uh, we get into this this debate, and I'm I'm not going to get off subject here. Of why people support this person and su don't support this person. Well, when an immoral person stands out before you and let and shows this immorality, but you have one issue over here that says I can't vote for you because you support this thing. Mm -hmm. It's not that they're supporting that thing. It's that they're saying that. The government shouldn't say that a person don't have the right to make a decision for themselves. Right. It's not like I just want to get like Joe Biden. He doesn't support abortion. He's Catholic. That's against his faith. Mm -hmm. But he says it's up for us to stand before God individually. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And we we're, we're gonna have to be judged not by what. Somebody else led us into, but what we allow ourselves to be led into. You understand what I'm saying? It's, it's not that someone is, is grabbing you by the hand and making you do anything. They're telling you different things, and then you're deciding whether or not you're going to follow them or not. That's your decision. You're deciding whether or not I'm going to follow this person or not. You're going to be standing right. accountable for that. Not them that led you there. You're gonna mama doesn't mm -hmm. stand before God for me. She prayed for me. Mm -hmm. But when judgment time comes, I'm gonna have to stand before God by the decisions I make. So uh Solomon is trying to get everybody on one order, one accord. That's right. He's trying to make sure remind them God did this, God made this promise. But you have some, you got a part, you got to play in this too. He said he's going to do what he said he's going to do. But your part is, don't sin. When it comes down to it, he said, in the end of this, he said, don't sin. Because you're going to stand before God for what you do as an individual. So, just let, you know, we, we just have to take that into account. And I hope everybody understands that because you can't write sin. And this is what people want to do, you know, write sin. They want to, because they ain't doing that sin. They gotta be, they gotta be a team punishment. But, 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 but my mind's over here, it's a little warm. <laughs> you know, they want to write sin. And you can't write sin like that. Mm -hmm. All sins are sinners except for blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. So, so, 
Now, now God gave punishment on sin. Yeah. He gave punishment on sin. He he's a just God. And and, and he took and he when he gave the, he gave that to Moses, it was for them to understand how to do it. But 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 now you look at the court system of that. It's no, it's no it, it's too much favoritism. It, 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 it's, it's because this is this is my son and my daddy got all this money. Mm. I, I, I ain't got to do no turn. Mm. But, but here go a person who's poor and stuff, get the same class. Mm. But but because he can't he can't get no money to he got to, he gets locked up for 20 years. <laughs> ain't no justice in that. Yeah. But that's what that's what we live in. That's what we live in. And, and, and so so and I'll say this. Uh, the, 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 the court system is using the prison as a form of slavery now. And, 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 and yes, yes. Uh, and, 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 and that's what that's what we have and that's why it's so important for us to go vote. To to to, 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 to and I'm telling y'all, I, I say this, uh that should be a revolving door. You vote again one term, you vote you vote about the next term. Yeah. You, don't let them stay in their office for for, right. for a lifetime. Mm -hmm. You, you you get more done in four years, six, whatever year that they they go to work, and they don't go to work, they know they turn around. Well, let me let me finish. Hurry for year, hurry for year act. See see, uh, he wants to do well to to know their own heart and mind, as God knows them. But at the same time, God does not access the ways of the person praying. Wicked people who, who defy God's call cannot utter the Jimmy prayer. Why? That's because their intention is not to change their way, but to escape immediate trial. Think about that. Think about that. We've seen this happen at our own church. People get in some trouble. They come up here, sit on sit on the front row, get holier than that. <laughs> yeah. Get holier than that, and, 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 and shout and, and praise God. But as soon as our situation gets, gets yeah. fixed, yeah. we don't see them no more. Yeah. And this, this is what he's talking about here. That, that, that's not true worship right there. And, and you're playing with God. You're putting God on the shelf, and you're on the table now when you think he needs it. Mm -hmm. and, and, that's not, and that's not how it should be. We, we should have a, a regular communication with God daily. Daily. Uh, uh, so, 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 so when we get to the house, Cause we 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 have been singing and praying already. Uh -huh. When we get to the house, we are already ready to oh, to, to be praised, hey. to worship God. I shouldn't have to have you know we 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 we, we want to be some entertainers. Now I'm gonna tell y'all, uh -huh. we want to be some entertainers, and that's what the that's what the people want to be entertainers. Yeah. But 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 it's not about entertaining you and I. It's about worshiping and praising Him. And, and that's why I don't, you, you don't have to, remember, you don't, whatever, if, if, if that's, if that's what you like to do, that, that, that's fine for you. But don't get mad because you ain't got nobody following you. That's right. You know, you do you in the worship and praise God out. Solomon did him. Everybody's not going to pray like Solomon. He gave the example. Yeah. But everybody's not going to pray like Solomon. Don't get mad about that. But they, you, you can't worry about nobody else. You gotta worry about your Jesus said there's gonna come a day you're gonna worship me in spirit right. and in truth. Mm -hmm. Now if you in spirit, you ain't got no business to worry about what somebody else is doing. That's if right. You're in the spirit. Amen. So so but but then the last session, it talked and almost that 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 first. Uh, yeah, I want to read verse 50. That's what I want. I want to read just read verse 50. That's what I want to get to. The whole verse, or the, the one in our book? Just the one in the book. And forgive thy people that have sinned against thee. Forgive thy people. And that, that, yeah, that, that's what he said to him. Forgive thy people. It, it, it's so important for the church to understand that we gotta get how we gotta put how we Yeah. When 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 your people go out to battle against their enemy, where we sin, Solomon prayed with the idea that God should answer the prayer for victory made in foreign man. When they sin against you, when they sin the Old Testament state state of the principle most clearly stated in Romans three and twenty three, for all have sinned 
and fall short of the glory of God. When they come to themselves in the land where they were carried captive, Solomon asked, also asked God to hear Israel's prayer from a captivity in a foreign land. This recognized that the God of the temple could answer prayer made the way of the temple. He would let them know that even when they get in captivity, that God can still hear. He don't have to do that. And this is why we ain't got to send God to the hospital, to the nurse home. He's already there. Yeah. He's already Amen. there. And so, so we got to remind ourselves of these things like that, Brother Love. Uh, let me cut you off and everything. Uh, you said earlier that Solomon prayer, and you alluded to that it, it's not just Solomon prayer, it, the Lord's in there too, right? Well, well let's, 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 let's ask that myself. Let's go to 2 Timothy 3 16. 2 Timothy 3 16. Yeah. All scriptures is given by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. It is possible for doctrine and reproof, for correction, for instruction and righteousness. So, so, so let's go back to this, this text. Uh -huh. All scriptures. And, and this part of yeah, so 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 God graved it up on some but, to pray this prayer. So, so what, what I'm saying to that part right there, God let them know that you are going to sin, and I'm going to forgive. Exactly, but I'm going to let them know right now that you will be sent somewhere to hell too. Yeah, yeah. And, and so so God God was preparing them exactly. for a day to come, exactly. just like He prepares you and I. But we got to understand that though. See, this is why we struggle in the day time when we have gotten away from really studying God's word. Mm -hmm. We we don't we don't we don't use this Bible as a roadmap to understand that that, that it happened to them, it might happen again. Because ain't nothing new in the sun. Yes, There's right. nothing new that's gonna happen that ain't already happened. So because of that, we, we if we really take time to study God's word, then, then we understand that that hey. God got to do a good time because he promised. Yeah. You know, he he he's gonna stay with his promise. But he, he but he's gonna he, he's gonna not always show his grace and mercy now. Huh? He's gonna show some wrath on time. Mm -hmm. And that's what we gotta understand. Yeah. But 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 Amen. but but this lesson really shows as leaders. And it, when I say leaders, it don't go by the title, it's go by the example. Mm -hmm. You, you don't have to call a title to consider yourself a leader. You, you know, uh, I don't hold no position for the first time in a long time in this district. But I still consider myself a leader yeah. in the district. But, 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 but and, that, and that's okay. But, but we have to learn, learn that though. Why? Because, because, because influence it means a whole lot. Cause, cause, cause the best way to learn, the best way to teach is smaller groups. Yeah. And, and, and smaller groups, if you're leading that smaller group, you, you make sure you have the right influence on them. Right. And, and, and because that way, you, you won't be a hindrance or a stumbling block when it comes to worship. Mm -hmm. many, many people are, 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 have influence, they influence the wrong way. And so because of that, they, 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 they got bad influence. Because we should be influenced people in the worship business. Mm -hmm. because, because regardless of that, what else happened, if we're not worshiping him, we're not doing our job. Mm -hmm. If we're not praising him, we're not doing our job. If we're not leaving these promises where they walk and going out and, 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 and testifying about the goodness of the Lord, we're not doing our job. Mm -hmm. Regardless, regardless, whatever the goal, yes. regardless how many people come to the church, or how much money we take in, if we're not doing our job in that area, we fail. Mm -hmm. Big job. Yeah, it's just, it's Everything you need to know about life is in this Bible. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. The stories that have been told over and yeah. over again. The, the the nation of Israel, before they were put in slavery, they were he told Abraham that they're gonna go into slavery. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's 40 years before they were even here. And and it was about the leadership. When, when we hear people say that uh, somebody is sent by God, that that's true. Even someone that might be wicked. Trump. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we see oh, what happened before, Nebuchadnezzar. No, no, they didn't, they he called, right he, yeah. he destroyed that nation of Israel. Yeah. He called Nebuchadnezzar my, my servant. servant. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
because he was put, using Nebuchadnezzar to punish the people. You know, just like uh, Rehoboam, when, when he became king, mm -hmm. they were in Egypt, the Israel, and he saw they were multiplying. They were multiplying. They were and he got scared. He said, man, it's going to be more of them than us. He, he gathered a council. The elders said, treat them nice. Mm -hmm. It's better to have them with us. Treat them good. The people that he came, his generation said, no. Used the rod, and he used the rod, and and sent the people into slavery in Egypt. You know, so it was about the council that you allow people to speak stuff to you. The Bible tells us to surround yourself with wise counsel, not just go along to get along. <laughs> we have people nowadays that thinking they they jockeying for position. <laughs> You know, you're going to put me in your administration, you're going to put me on your council, yeah, you're going to put me on your yeah. board. They're looking out for themselves. They're not yeah, looking out for yeah. the people. Yeah. They're looking out for themselves. So just when you, like I said, you don't have to have a title to be a leader. The, the most effective leaders started what they call grassroots. They started at the local level because they saw the need in the community and the people trusted them. And when the, you got the people's trust, Hey, it's a movement now. That's right. And Prince of Kanye up there, Obama's father now. That's yeah, right. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. He, 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 he was a junior man. Yeah. We had, but when he told him, he had, you know. I did. Yeah. 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 And, and that's how it got to be, you know. We, and, and the problem with us is that we got too many uh, crabs <laughs> holding us on the back. Uh, we, 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 as, we as a, as, as a race, Believe we got that crab mentality. We don't want the nation to get more than what we have. And that's what we struggle. We struggle that in our community. We struggle that even with our churches. It should never be about uh, us fighting one another. We are not the end. But, but we, should, we, should be, we should be further along than we learn to support one another. That goes in our community. That goes in our church. We, 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 we're busy. We make excuses, this and that. But when the bottom line, we are. If, if, if our next generation is going to be successful, we we got we can have to change the mentality. Because it has got to start in the church. Everything yeah. it start, you got to start in the home and the church. Because then you have to go out to the community. Any questions, comments? Yeah. Next week, we'll see y'all back. See you later. Oh, okay. oh.